everybody, it's Noah. It's uh, February 5th, 2010, and shot number 11 was yesterday. Uh, I recorded it, and it was about 20 minutes long, which I can't put up on YouTube, so I'm going to re-record the main stuff that I was talking about in it. Um, so yesterday was shot number 11, which is about five months on T for me. I'm excited. So yeah, um, my brother sent me a link about the IRS and how a trans woman was able to um, take the court to take the IRS to court and there you go and argue that um, her gender reassignment surgery was not cosmetic it was a medical necessity and she actually won so that was really cool especially because it was coming from my brother who has come a long way in my transition which kind of sounds funny but he has and um, I'm excited about that so so uh yeah so go go little bro anyway so video blogs i talked about maybe doing them probably not gonna end up doing them however i did start a tumblr i, I, I started doing it more often um and on that i have senior pictures i just put up um, after every shot i do a straight on shot uh, picture and so I've had a picture every other week for the last four months, and so I did. I have like a little sequence of that. That's pretty cool. I picked. I took a picture of well, of, of one of my senior pictures and a picture of my girlfriend and me from from November. And so I, I lined them up, and so there's a half me of senior year, half me of of now. So that's kind of cool. It turned out pretty cool. Um, there are a couple of cool other other cool trans tumblers um my best friend jason robert ballard who also has uh, a youtube on here but he also has a, a, a tumblr he has a lot of uh, cool information and trans related stuff and there's another tumblr that has that as well but i can't say it because i don't swear i'm lying i swear but i feel bad saying it so but i'll put that up there as well so jay you owe me a, a, a plug on one of yours I just realized I did that, but anyway, so, so that's a couple of little things. The main thing is independent study. I talked about that last time, and it seemed like I got some interest on that, so I thought I would talk a little bit about it. I decided that I want to uh, figure out the um, the effects of T on the lateral communication between hemispheres of the brain. If you don't know much about psychology or how the brain works, um, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I have this right, the left hemisphere stores memories in, in a language format, and the right hemisphere stores memories in auditory, visual, spatial kind of modes. So knowing what this is um, by, I mean, and you see this and you, you store it in memory as a visual thing, knowing what it is, hearing that it's called a pen, so associating that. Um, so hearing it th through auditory waves, um, that is stored in your right your right hemisphere. And then if it's held up in front of you and you're able to verbalize what it is, that comes from your left side of your hemisphere. So um, for me, starting T, that was a huge thing that I've noticed. Um, I'm not, you know, I, I know that this is called a pen, but I would stare at it for a very long time. Uh, 10 to 15 seconds before I could actually verbalize what it's called and that happens with objects it happens with my best friends who I've been friends with for years you know I could you know someone could be standing right in front of me and I, I could know who they are but I couldn't say their name if I needed to introduce them to someone or something it gets really frustrating so I want to look into that more so the thesis is uh, that you know, with an increase in testosterone levels, there's a decrease in communication between the hemispheres, and you know, perhaps testosterone, um, your testosterone levels, whether you're bio, whether you're a bio guy or if you're a trans guy, your testosterone levels could possibly affect your corpus callosum, which um, they say callosum, I meant corpus callosum, doesn't matter. It that's what communicates between the hemispheres, so so that should be interesting. However, the main reason that I'm talking about this in this video is that I, I need 
trans guys to help me. Um, so I need participants, essentially. So if you're trans or if you know people that are trans, email me at gwagone4 at naz.edu. So email me and let me know that you're interested. I need people who have started testosterone and people who haven't started testosterone. So if you're looking into it, thinking, you know, you want to start T soon, get a hold of me and I will send you, um, well, anybody that, that's trans, if you, if you email me, I will reply, letting you know that I got it um, and also sending you some sort of preliminary questionnaire um, that gets basic info on, um, you know, your name, I, first name's fine for now, maybe last initial, but, so it'll get your name, your age, where are you from, um, have you started T, what's your dose, how long have you been on, stuff like that, uh, so, I'm not really sure what kind of experiment I'm gonna, um, set up yet, I have this whole semester to figure that out and I'm working with my psych professors and we're gonna um, make some sort of experiment that could that could potentially test memory and stuff like that so so I'm really hoping that it'll work out but I need lots of participants so if you're trans or if you have friends who are trans if you have a uh, gay straight alliance in your high school in your university um, in your community if you have uh, um, gay lines in your community get out there find them for yourself I mean for um, you know for groups um, that always helps but also so give them my address and that way they can uh, connect with me so I can get as many trans guys as possible because I have the audacity to think that if we all work together we could possibly help figure out something and help close the gap from pre-tea to having tea and where that that connection has been lost where we can't remember anything because I know that that's not just me I know that I have a lot of trans friends who who have said that they have a lot of trouble focusing and memorizing or remembering things so um so if you think this sounds like something that you want to do, let me know, email me, and yeah, so get all of me on there, Facebook, you can do that, Noah Wagner, um, yeah, I think that's it, so, um, I hope, hopefully we'll see you in two weeks, maybe if I decide to do another uh, video blog, if I update, if I have any updates on um, the in event study or something, then I'll let you know, but uh, if I don't, then have a good couple weeks, and I'll see you then. All right, take care.